get with it Ain't nobody gon' get it Yo, take it Gonna take a quick minute Don't quit it Figure out your own limit Life is a test The best make progress Figure out what is next thing Are they gonna be able to get the damage onto Mavis to hammer a priority? Akori does get the kill Mew on the top lane Ice Shards comes through And Carlo then will still be able to get the kill onto Theo uh, Heavenly is gonna Oh, is no, gonna time out Say Mavis though, he might be, he doesn't have the mana, he's not gonna be able to get the impale now as well. Guarded could be taking some tower shots as well as Vitaly. Now the impale comes out, is this gonna be enough to get the kill of the blink four? They're gonna be able to take down the Omni Knight. Vitaly with the spirit siphon onto Mavis, the spike carapace comes out, keeps Vitaly down, but he still gets the kill. And now Vitaly, he's running himself now. And look at these zombies with a flesh golem, just trying to bash down on Vitaly now as well. But there is gonna be the purification coming through. Sonic oh, Wave, they finally fun. get the kill. They're even gonna be able to take down the Omni Knight now as well. Snowball, is he gonna be able to keep him alive through this box? He's hitting onto the tower. Theo, he did a little bit of delay, but he will still go down there and yeah four man rotation five man rotation coming out from tn timing oh they might be able to get another kill analog is he to be able to get himself away from this one the heavenly grace as well as that purification does come through oh theo though mavis snowball What's the lsa either? does connect can they take down this next assassin do they have the laguna blade it's gonna be thrown out they get the kill onto mavis now as well analog he's gonna try and go for that tp anything to disrupt the damage that's gonna be enough to disrupt they take him down Angel, which is a major problem because like, you're almost always going to be hitting at least one or two people with that. Oh, top lane, Bach. Oh, he actually turns around, Flash Golem. Is Carlo close? He is going to be able to get the disruption off. There's going to be a lot of TPs coming in as well. Critch is going to be here. So they're going to be able to go onto Theo. And the disruption now as well, onto Vitaly. If they want to chase Tornado, it doesn't connect. They might be able to chase down, but Vitaly is really fast and the trap gets popped. So Critch is going to be here, here. Oh, they know. Gardic. He needs to, he needs to die for his core. He needs to do it, Gardic. Yeah, oh, the man. tornado, it comes out. The EMP, they're going to be able to lock down onto Lumia now as well. And like you say, there is going to be the Demonic Purge Holy if they want to go on. So the Meteor does get dropped, and it looks like they're going to be able to take down Lumia. Has no mana left now. The Heavenly Grace as well as that... Um, excuse me, the... I think they'll be able to go into Analog. And look, he's going to be pushed back now as well by the Death right. Blast, but he does get an LSA. Dive forward, Asta pushing him back with the Sonic Wave. There's going to be an Ice Pack drop now as well. Asta, though, can he get himself out of danger? That Blink will be coming up. He's going to be silenced off. The damage from the Spirit Siphon, the Exorcism. Asta's going to go down. And now the chase through. Gardic, again, the Heavenly Grace is going to be used. He's already used the Guardian Angel as well. So it comes out on Chris. Chris, can he get himself away from this? Ice Shots. I'm going to block his block. path out, the right click, but there's going to be the destruction coming through from the Shadow Demon. Tornado connects onto all three. Analog's going to try and dodge it. Walrus Punch comes through, and Analog will get the kill. It's a really good turnaround at worth, so that is always going to be bonus goal. The XP, oh, though, it's going to be nearly double. And they're going to be able to get the kill onto Bok here. Bok, can he get himself away? One more right click coming through from the Lina. Just attacking so quickly with a full seven. Uh, Fiery Soul stacks. Just takes down the Undying. Gardic? Oh, did he see him? Oh, there's smoke they breaks. They yeah, there's a sentry down and the vendetta form. He's going to be walking into that sentry range now as well. well Gardic, he's dodging off the impale, but there is going to be the demonic purge to slow him down. Spike Paracris comes out. Gardic's not actually going to be able to throw out any spells now as well. EMP, Lemieux is going to be chasing right forward. Disruption comes out though from Carlo, slowing him down. Gardic's going to be still alive. The tombstone will be dropped. Can he go even further onto this? Trap gets dropped, but it doesn't get popped. And it looks like everyone's just going to disengage after Mavis goes down. Ask them. Does he want to go for analog? He looks like he's chasing him. He is invis. He finds him. Are they going to go for it? He has to be careful. There's a BKB on analog, although most of it uh, looks like Aston says, nope, it's not worth it. Uh, looks like analog was was next to a ward, and Aston wanted that kill, but you can't go for it. At the same time, check out the. This is another thing that uh, might be a problem for for Corey Krish when he uses his mana burn. Oh, mid lane. The disruption comes out though, Queen of Pain. Theo, it was a snowball in, it might put him in danger. Sunstrike was going to be using Carlo. Does get the kill though. Um, yeah. See what's going on, they get the D ward off, and Mavis, he Ooh. just turned around, it's maybe a bit too long. Yeah, he was trying to D ward, but uh, like you said, they already had the vision, so he did get the observer, but it cost him his life, and the Laguna being committed there from Alina. I mean, what, it's a 60 second cooldown at level 2? So yeah, no issues committing that, and then it'll be up in the next team fight whenever the next team fight kicks off. Mm. Oh, one thing I want to go about is that because BKB now has a mana cost of 50, yeah. uh, going this full Quas Wix build is pretty solid on Invoker because you do put an insane amount of mana with the EMP. And we saw in that last fight, Ac Analog actually didn't have enough mana to BKB, not in the when Asta was chasing him. Mm. So that is something that. How quickly this goes down for Hikori. Yeah. Right? Exorcism, the Death Soul on TA, so the Mice armor is insane. Mm. I mean, like, we. we we say it's a very strong Roche lineup, and TNC was aware of it. They tried their best to sort of deter them by putting their own wards, but Hokori, they, they take a five middle and just they say, hey, they, they didn't kill anyone, but TNC was relatively low health, so they, they say, ah, oh, we'll just we'll just fight in Roche, and you guys aren't going to do anything to us. Uh, it's, it's getting scarier and scarier for TNC. Hokori, only 74% chance. Okay, all right, that seems, that seems fair. All three of your cores are top of the net worth. A bog is starting to fall off a little bit on this. Oh. 
being a falling off, we might be losing Vitaly here. Vitaly can go to Savoy, he drops the silence with the BKB, the Walrus Punch comes in now as well, he might be able to lock down Aster, but Aster's got his own BKB, the Snowball comes in, the Disruption gonna be hitting onto, excuse me, onto the Invoker now, trying to keep him alive, Bok, he's in there, Theo's gonna go down, a really nice Sonic Wave that hits onto three heroes, Mavis with the Spike Carapace, but Analog had that BKB up, Mavis gonna get himself away from this, it's gonna be three heroes dead on the side of TNC, only losing Theo here for the side of Hakori. And Analog, he's going to try and get worse and worse and worse here for TNC. I mean, it's not like she's the only one who benefits, right? It's also the yeah. TA right there. So it's tough. And TNC, they're undying. He wants to go for the shard. He actually has a BK, a Blink Dagger um, queued up. I wonder if he's really going to go Blink Dagger on Bark. You know, that seems a bit crazy. Mavis, hey, it looks like he's spotted. Takes a few hits. And he is going to lose his life. Now, he's not the only one, though. A Chris. solo kill on Krish. Yeah, Krish goes down here. I, I didn't even see that one happening. You're watching Mavis in the river. But yeah, Lena comes in and gets a really nice... It looks like he threw out the Laguna Blade there as well to commit the kill. If we take a look at the death summary, BKB wasn't used here for the Invoker. Uh, for some reason, the death summary isn't working, so we can't check that to see what the actual damage breakdown was here from the Lena. Uh, for me, it says uh, it's like half physical, half magical. Oh, I he's going to be able to get himself onto Bog now as well. The right clicks come through. Doesn't even need that Laguna Blade. And are they going to be able to get through? Oh! Aster, the right clicks. Doesn't even get the blink away analog. He just rips through all three cores once again. He can do it himself. He doesn't need his team. He's taken all of the cores down in about the space of 30 seconds. Holy crap. Oh, TNC. I don't know if there's any way for them to come back here. Carlo, you know, we're talking about this uh, support, like farming on the Shadow Demon. Okay, he's farmed, but everyone else on his team is suffering. This in the Invoker build was not accurate. It's, it, it went too much, you know. Mm. You went for the for the urn, then the hand of Midas, and he's going for BKB. It's like you don't really have much of much damage. Your spells are oh, that's a tall order. Maybe we can take a fight. Check out analog. Check out analog. Oh, he's making a move for the Queen of Pain here now as well. The Silver Edge, the LSA. No, oh, the blink. Oh, Asta. He didn't know it, but he gets, maybe the spidey sense is tingling there. He gets that blink forward that Asta dodges off the LSA. Scan behind him. He's just going to blink himself into the trees. Go for that TP away. Right. But there is going to be the boots of travel here onto the Lena. So the Lena actually goes back to the fountain, I guess, because uh, Lena, pretty mana hungry hero with the, the spells to throw out. Even though, you know, the right click damage is sky high, you still want that mana for your spells. So close to the AC now as well. It looks like sending the courier over to the to the side shop, and it's only going to be, what's that, about 300? 280 yes. gold away from picking that up, yeah. I love how, I love how precise you are. Usually I'd have been like, it's three, it's two to 300, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, which is true, but you're like, that's 280, it's 280, uh, which is exactly how much this is. Oh, and uh, by the way, I love the item that uh, the, the, sorry, the neutral item analogs got. He went for Dagger of Riskful. 40 damage for a hero that has so much attack speed is massive. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay, they, they are able to find Theo. Lumiere jumps back in. Are they Two hits on Asta. Yeah, Snowball's going to be onto Bark, though. Bark, is he holding that BKB? He is. The Disruption's going to try and save him for a little bit. Sonic Wave comes through. Is he going to be doing enough damage now as well? Bark, he throws that BKB. The Rackless coming through. They're still going to connect. They still get the kill. And now Chris is going to be in trouble being chased down. But look at how quickly Analog goes. I don't even think he's committing the, the full attack animation. He's just going all the way through here. And Mavis gets deleted. Three heroes dead on TNC once again. And now, oh, Analog's chasing. Did he get the vision onto Asta here? He has that Silver Edge. Two seconds if he wants to carry on chasing. I think it might just be a coincidence or maybe you might see Astra on the cliff TP LSA is not going to be there in time and Astra going to be able to get the TP away yeah it was on cooldown so a little bit unlucky for Astra in that situation but actually the time is too slow for us yeah, look at this as well, and TNC don't know where to defend. They are going to be losing at least the range racks here now as well. Eye Shards comes out, and it looks like the melee rack is going to go down. Lumia can't take that, commits for that, and we'll be able to get that racks there too. God has got that four stuff, by the way, so you can push people away from the Nyx Assassin, from the Undying with the slow, so a little bit unfortunate. And uh, Theo's got the blink tag, so he can just blink save people with a snowball. It's uh, it's a lot for TNC now that they have to deal with, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, how are they going to be able to take a fight? Who they can, who they focus on? Oh, the jump oh, in Lumiere is going to be maybe to get Mavis. The disruption comes out. Bark wants to chase up now as well. Mavis, he's holding on to that spike carapace. But again, Lumiere has that BKB if he needs to use it. Bark pops his BKB early. The right clicks, though, he's just going to be absolutely shredded through here. And Bark, he has to get himself around Mavis with the spike carapace. Walrus punch comes out. Just for the lockdown, Mavis can he get himself away from this one. It looks like the snowball. Lumiere going to be able to get the kill onto Bark on the back lines. Chases on. Laguna Blade comes out. They're going to be able to get the stun. The silence onto the Queen of Pain gets that kill Bad now dude. as well. Shadow Demon GG's just going to be called.
and Hakori absolutely running riot in this game. The the carry Queen of Pain really didn't work out the way they the way they wanted to, and uh, they were just they were played very slow on the TNC side. They, uh, they I guess they want to play around the box.